Right now, as you watch this video, somewhere in our galaxy, a star is being torn to pieces by a black hole. Half of what happens there we can see. The other half disappears behind an invisible boundary from which nothing returns. That boundary has a name, the event horizon. And what might be waiting above and below it is far stranger and more unsettling than any science fiction movie. When we hear black hole, it's easy to picture just a big empty space, but a black hole is not an ordinary hole. It's a region where gravity has beaten everything. It beat matter, it beat light, it even beat time as we understand it. At the center, theory speaks of a singularity, a point where density goes to infinity and the equations simply break. Around it lies the event horizon, that one-way door, once you cross it going in, you never come back. Before we talk about what's below, inside that forbidden region, we need to look at what happens just above the horizon, because the part we can observe is already a true cosmic nightmare, and it's precisely what gives us clues about what might be hidden inside. Near a feeding black hole, matter doesn't fall in any old way. It forms a spiral disk, spinning at absurd speeds. This accretion disk is so compressed and heated that it reaches millions of degrees. The closer the gas gets, the faster it spins, the hotter it becomes, and the more energy it releases. From far away, you would see a bright ring feeding a completely dark center. It's one of the most violent scenes the universe can produce. From the region near the horizon, some black holes launch relativistic jets. They are beams of particles accelerated to nearly the speed of light, shooting out from the poles and crossing thousands of light years. These jets can slice through an entire galaxy, injecting energy into the surrounding gas, and even preventing new stars from forming. The curious thing is that, even with all this violence, it's still happening above the event horizon. On the outside, in the part we can still study, just the outside of a black hole is already capable of reshaping an entire galaxy. And even so, it's only the surface of the story. Now let's go a little deeper. When an object starts getting too close to the event horizon, it enters a region where gravity changes a lot over very small distances. The difference in force between the side closer to the black hole and the side farther away is so great that the body is stretched and squeezed. At the same time, physicists nicknamed this spaghettification. If an astronaut got too close, their body would be stretched like a thread before even crossing the horizon. Here comes one of the strangest things in relativity. Seen from afar, from a safe place, that astronaut would appear to never truly cross the event horizon. The light coming from them grows weaker, redder, slower. To a distant observer, they seem to freeze at the edge of the black hole, fading away slowly. But from the astronaut's own point of view, none of that happens. They don't see a portal in front of them. The horizon has no signs, no lines, nothing marking it. They simply pass that point and keep falling. This happens because near a black hole, time stops being something absolute. For someone far away, time near the horizon seems to drag. For someone falling in, time passes normally. It's as if the fabric of the universe itself were tilted inward. From the horizon on, every possible direction points toward the center, toward the interior of the black hole. There is no longer a path that leads back out. You don't need to be pulled. You're carried by space-time itself. And that brings us to the question that really gives you chills. What is waiting below the event horizon? The honest answer is that nobody knows for sure. Einstein's general theory of relativity says that once you're inside, all you can do is keep falling until you reach the singularity, that point of infinite density where space and time shatter. Only, infinite density is a polite way of saying our physics no longer knows what's going on. The equations that work perfectly for planets, stars, and even entire galaxies simply stop applying. And that's not the only problem. There's also the so-called information paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information about the state of a thing cannot disappear completely. Yet a black hole seems to do exactly that. It swallows stars, planets, gas, light, anything, and returns to the universe only thermal radiation. It's as if you threw an entire library in there, 
and some time later, got back only a bit of heat with no organization. Where did the information of everything that fell go? If it truly vanishes, maybe quantum mechanics is wrong. If it doesn't, maybe our picture of black holes is incomplete. This is where ideas that feel ripped from a theoretical nightmare appear. One of them is the so-called firewall. Instead of being a calm boundary, the event horizon would be wrapped in a layer of insane energy, able to destroy anything that touched it. In another scenario, inspired by string theory, the interior wouldn't have a point-like singularity, but rather a kind of ball of extremely entangled quantum information, something physicists call a fuzzball. In that case, the black hole wouldn't have a classical inside, but a structure full of micro details at the quantum scale. And there are even more speculative ideas, like the possibility that black holes are connected to other points in space-time through wormholes. In those versions, what falls into a black hole could come out somewhere else, in another time or even another universe. Most physicists think that even if such solutions exist mathematically, they are probably not traversable, at least not in the way fiction imagines. But the simple fact that this possibility shows up in the equations already reveals how much we are groping in the dark. Notice the contrast. Above the event horizon, we observe bright disks, relativistic jets, stars being ripped apart, gravitational waves emitted when black holes merge. It's the visible side of the nightmare, a horror show our telescopes can record. Below the horizon, what we have are broken equations, unresolved paradoxes and hypotheses that completely change how we understand the universe. On one side, destruction we can see. On the other, a hidden laboratory where the laws of physics may be getting rewritten. Inside every black hole in the universe, there's an inaccessible region where time and space are so distorted that our best theories come into conflict. It's as if the cosmos had reserved, inside each of these objects, a vault of secrets for which we don't yet have the key. Meanwhile, stars keep falling, matter keeps crossing the horizon, and everything that happens in there disappears from our sight forever. At the same time, this is exactly the kind of mystery that most drives science forward. Understanding what truly exists below the event horizon isn't just curiosity about black holes. It could be the path to a new theory of gravity, capable of uniting general relativity with quantum mechanics. It could help us better understand the beginning of the universe, which also seems to have gone through states of extreme density. It could reveal that space-time isn't smooth and continuous, but made of discrete units, like a microscopic fabric. So, what's waiting above and below a black hole's event horizon? Above, we see cosmic engines capable of powering galaxies, rings of fire, jets that cross the void, and gravitational waves echoing through space below. There may be a singularity, maybe a firewall, maybe a quantum structure too complicated for our current math maybe even connections to other regions of the universe. What we do know is that down there, beneath that invisible boundary, lie some of the deepest secrets of reality. And that's what should haunt you, but also inspire you. Because every time humanity has faced a limit and asked, what's past this point? It ended up discovering a new piece of the truth. Black holes are the next of those limits. Now I wanna hear from you, if you had to bet what do you think really exists below the event horizon? A classical singularity, a firewall, a wormhole, or something we haven't even imagined yet? Leave your theory here in the comments. If this video made you look at the universe with a little more respect and curiosity, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Thank you, and see you in the next video.